You? Yeah. What's good, y'all, y'all? What's good, YouTube? Uh, quick little video, message for the men, for real, for real. Uh, just some real talk. You know, because I know it's a lot of y'all that's out there, you know. We all deal with, we all deal with women. We all deal with uh, goofiness. We all deal with, uh, you know, the foolishness that just comes with, you know, females, right? My only advice to y'all is to stay on your grind, stay focused, stay improving, all right? Stay on your grind, stay focused, stay improving, yo. I promise you that you will not only not only will you reach the success that 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 you desire, but you'll start you'll you'll get the women that you want, and then with that you won't even have to pursue them because when you're the best version of yourself, women come to you. Women come to you. You don't have to be chasing women. You don't have to be cold approaching women. You don't got to be. Thirsty for you know the, the stimulation and things like that. You don't have to. You don't have to um, fiend for a woman's presence. They'll be trying. They'll be trying to get to you. They'll be fiending to get to you. You understand what I'm saying? And, and all that comes with all that comes with just staying on your grind. You know, it's, it's always. It's always looking to be 1% better. I know I said it in the last video, but you always want to be 1% better. And you always got to have a money mindset. You know what I'm saying? If you're working a job right now, you know, work your job. Make your money. You know, don't don't let nobody talk down on you if you're working a 9 to 5 right now. Don't let nobody talk down on you if you're making your money. Make your money. Save that money. Invest that money in something else. Always try to be planning for a little side hustle. Right. One of my homeboys, he um he has an ATM. He has an ATM business that he does. And he also he does Turo for his car. Shout out my nigga Rail. You know what I'm saying? One of my other homeboys, uh, my nigga Shaky, uh, he he do wholesale and real estate. You know what I'm saying? You want more information on that? I'll make videos and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Dispatcher, my mom, my mom, she got side hustles, she do dispatching and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? It's a bunch of side hustles that you can do with your with your main job income. You know what I'm saying? So keep your job. You know, keep your job. And then, you know, get a side hustle on the side. You know what I'm saying? I do, I get in this wholesale and real estate. You know, I do these YouTube videos. I ain't getting paid for it yet, but this is my side hustle. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I also, anybody who wants to train with me, I train you. You know what I'm saying? For a fee, we'll go over the fees and costs and stuff like that. But, you know, depending on your money setup, I might cut your deals, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? These are the type of avenues you can get into to make your money work for you. That way you don't have to be slaving forever at a nine to five. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with working a job, but you don't want to, you don't want to be there. All right, I'm back, y'all. My shit was acting bogus as hell. It was cut off on me. Yeah. Like I was saying, um, it's nothing wrong with working a nine. Fuck, man. Chill. Now shit doing a bunch of weird shit. But yeah, man, it's nothing wrong with working a nine to five. But you should always be trying to have income coming in. You know what I'm saying? You should always be trying to better yourself, have a side hustle to make more money, to make your money work for you. So take your income from your nine to five, use it as a second stick to, to invest, to save, and, and build something else like build your own business you know what i'm saying so that you can make your money work for you so you always just want to be grinding you always want to be working you always want to be trying to get better because you as a man your value is in the work your 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 accomplishments that's where your value lies men all your value is earned nothing from nothing you have is, is given everything you as a man is earned so you got to keep working you got to keep self-improving you got to keep getting better you know what I'm saying? As you keep improving and getting better and adding value to yourself, you know what they say, the harder you work, the luckier you get. That's a fact. You have to do more, you have to do more work than you're already getting paid for if you're ever gonna get paid more than what you're already working, right? Because the art of human nature, the art of receiving is giving. 
know what I'm saying? You have to give to receive, you know? It's like yin and yang. It's, it's, a, it's a forever, it's the dragon dance, you know what I'm saying? And so, to, to receive more, you have to give more. And you have to give more first, right? So, as a man, that's where all your value lies. You just gotta keep improving, gotta keep getting better. 1% better every day and, and inspiring and, and, and adding value to everybody you come into contact with. And as, and as that happens, you know what I'm saying, you'll get luckier. As you become the best version of yourself, you'll start attracting the, the wealth and the, the network and other men to, to want to be around you. And, and women are going to want to, to have you. You know what I'm saying? The women are going to come. The women are always looking for the best option for them. So as you become the best version of yourself, you're not going to have to chase women. You're not going to have to pursue women. Right? Right? And also... As a man, you can't compete with her looks. Her looks are, as crazy as it sounds, her looks almost level, how, it's, how society has it set, her looks almost level the playing field when she doesn't have half of the, the accomplishments or value that you had to earn. So everything you earn, let's say you're a fucking computer programmer, you make it 400K a year, all that value you have in the lifestyle you have, a girl that's a top 10, one of the baddest girls in the world you could think of, whatever. She gets to be in your presence, in your realm, just off of the strength of her looks, because that's how we rank women. That's how we, that's how we gravitate to women. That's how we uh, select women, right? She could be working at Applebee's. She could be working at McDonald's. She could be working at Golden Corral. Doesn't matter. Her looks give her an advantage. And I know y'all see it, uh, dudes on TikTok, you have to have really have a skill, a craft, a talent, or, or you know, something that's motivating and, and, and helping people. Girls get on there, do them dances and these little shorts and stuff, thousands, hundreds of views because beauty and sex sells. Especially these days. That's all you see. These little TikTok dances, girls in these shorts, dudes under the comments, what's the at? What's the at? What's her name? Gotta find her. But a dude that's, 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 that's actually helping people improve, like these fitness coaches and stuff like that, or these, these dudes that have the skills to make clothing and shoes and stuff like that, or paint pictures and stuff like that, they have to really have a skill to get these millions of likes and, and views and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? You really have to be something. You really have to be somebody to get the notoriety and acknowledgement. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm saying you can't compete with a woman's beauty and her her, uh, her looks. You know what I'm saying? And there's nothing wrong with that. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with it. That's you know that's just how it is. It is what it is. I'm just telling you that you have to be. You have to have the value. You have to keep trying to earn value, gain value. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way you can leverage. You know your success to get the women that you that you desire. You know what I'm saying? To, to get the women, the beautiful women that you want. Right? It's called, you know, in the process of becoming a select man, you also keep improving your body. Always, you know, inside and out. You know, go to the gym, work out. You don't have to be bodybuilder big. You don't have to be a uh, power lifter big. But, you know, get a framework, get a solid foundation and then maintain it. Get a body that suits your everyday life. You know, some that's, you know, an active lifestyle. But, you know, also, you know, keep your physique in shape. You know what I'm saying? Something that women will lust over. You got me? And then, um, you know, inside, you know, check your diet. Make sure you're eating the right foods. You know, taking the right vitamins, supplements. Things that coincide with your lifestyle and that, that give you the most performance out your body so that you can go to attack your goals, attack these days, and keep moving forward in life, you know what I'm saying? So that you can be the best. You can't be the best you out of shape fat. You're not gonna you're not gonna be you're not gonna have the energy, the stamina, the 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 the, the heart the heart capacity, none of that stuff. I'm not trying to be funny either, but I'm just saying like especially and then when it comes to women, you're not gonna be able to handle your business how you want. You know what I'm saying? That's not she doesn't find that attractive. They say that dad body shit, that's a lie, bro. They don't want that shit. They don't want your big fat gut on their back when, when you know you're handling bit or on they or on top of them when when you laying it down, you know what I'm saying? You know, 
what I'm saying? They want they like to touch your muscles when when it's when it's go time. You know what I'm saying? They like they like to feel on you. They want to feel something solid. They like they like to feel your upper traps, your shoulders, your, your triceps. You know, you got forearms, your forearms. You know, all of that. They like to see they like to see the, the V cut, the abs and shit like that. You don't gotta be super shredded, but they like that type of shit. Don't be listening to what they saying about that dad bod shit, bro. They say that shit so they don't have to put in the work, so that they can make you less sexy, so that they can maintain the options that you're gonna lose. Cause you know, you know, guys, we don't get these niggas. They letting these girls get fat because they feed them bullshit. But you as a man, you can't fall into that. You gotta stay in shape always. You gotta keep maintaining and, and, and getting options. Cause they not easy to come by as a man. So, and all this, it all goes in with just staying improving and getting better every day, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying if you're not there where you at right now, it's fine. Keep grinding. Stay consistent, stay driven, stay, stay I ain't gonna say stay motivated, because motivation is fickle. You know? But stay consistent, stay disciplined, stay focused. That's it. Stay consistent, stay disciplined, stay focused. You stay consistent, you stay consistent, and, and, and it'll start, and everything will start coming together. You just gotta keep doing the work. You know what I'm saying? Stay disciplined. Keep doing the habits that are going to uh, further you and better you in life, even when you don't fucking feel like it. Like getting up early, you know what I'm saying? Like going to the gym, reading books. These are all habits. You gotta stay disciplined with them. Eating healthy, that's a discipline. Eating clean is a discipline. You know what I'm saying? And then staying focused. There's too many distractions out here. TikTok, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all of the all of the shit. YouTube, everything, everything is a distraction. Anything in excess becomes a liability at some point. Right? So you gotta limit distractions and, and, and make sure you're doing everything to keep you dialed in keep you dialed in to, to your goals and to where you want to be in life, right? We all fall victim to it. I fell victim to distractions and shit like that. Even females, too. Females is distractions, so you gotta limit, you gotta just limit your distractions, you know what I'm saying? We all fall victim to it, but you it's, it's, it's just gotta bounce back. You know what I'm saying? And make sure you have, you know, write down your goals, write down a plan, and attack. Attack, attack, attack. Wake up every morning, have your goals, have your vision, have your plan, and just attack. Attack the day relentlessly. You know what I'm saying? Have a plan for your money, everything that you, you plan to acquire. You know what I'm saying? Just change your mindset, that's all. It ain't about where you at right now. It ain't about how you start, it's about how you finish. And you gotta finish. Finish strong, you know what I'm saying? But you can't finish if you're quitting. You gotta stay consistent, keep going. How Nip said, it's a marathon. It's a marathon. So yeah, man. That's all I have for y'all, man. Just a little bit of positive motivation, you know. A little bit of, you know, some wisdom and stuff like that. Just want to talk to y'all for real. I'm gonna start doing more of these, you know, when I'm on the road and stuff like that. I'm in the traffic right now. Atlanta traffic is crazy. If you know, you know. But yeah, man. Just wanted, you know, spread some positivity. I went to the gym today. I had a great workout. I did a lot of work today. Got a lot of work done, new videos coming soon. Hey man, just, you know, when y'all come here, I want y'all to be able to get something from me, you know, whether it's jewels or anything, you know what I'm saying? You know, so. But that's all I got for y'all, man. This is Wolfgang Lifestyle, and we out.